So this was a pretty challenging case we tackled a week or so ago in the operating room. This is a woman with a, a large dilated pupil or atonic pupil, posterior sneakia, who's now status post DMEC, who has uh, a cell count of only about 600 or so. And now we're going to be tackling a relatively mature cataract as well as placing an artificial iris. So we're using Vision Blue to carefully stain the capsule, making sure we get a nice round reflex. I'm using a micro utrata and an intraocular ruler to make sure that my capsorexis is right about the five and a half to six millimeter mark. Now my mission here was to try my best to not disrupt the DMEC knowing it's already uh, relatively low in cell count. So we're going to try to use the MyLoop device. This is the little night and all loop that you can use to snare the lens and essentially uh, divide the lens without using any fake emulsification at all. So that MyLoop device will go in the eye and you can see the night and all loop start to surround the surround the, the lens, making absolutely sure that you are in the capsular bag. And then we'll sweep that MyLoop device all the way across the lens and you can see it down below there, across to the other side, and then we'll bring it back to the midline of the lens. This is not a real fast maneuver, it's just a carefully controlled maneuver. Now we'll begin to constrict the night and all loop and that will uh, essentially divide this lens in two without using any fake wool emulsification at all. And as I'm, as I'm pulling that loop back, I'm also advancing the MyLoop device a little bit to help prevent rotation of the lens. Now, truth be told, I probably could have gone in there and divide this one more time, but there you can see a nice subdivision without doing any kind of phaco. Now I can get into that little fracture line and I can cross chop this lens. So I do get three or even four pieces before any fake emulsification is started. Now using a slow motion FACO, I've got everything turned down. We're going to remove this cataract as efficiently as we can, trying to minimize not only our CDE, but also the fluid flow in the anterior chamber. And you can see those bubbles in the anterior chamber. They're not moving at all. So we've got a good coating of OVD on that endothelium trying to protect it. I like to use bimanual A for all my complex cases, removing the cortex. And now our next step after cortical cleanup is going to be placement of the capsular tension ring. Every patient who gets a synthetic iris or artificial iris is also going to get a capsular tension ring just to really make sure we keep that capsule wide open, trying our best to prevent any kind of capsular phimosis. There really was no zonular dehiscence in this case. Now using the intraocular ruler to carefully measure the size of the capsular bag and that helps us figure out about how large to tree find the human optics artificial iris which is made of silicone in this case. Get rid of all the viscoelastic in the capsular bag and now we're going to counter stain with additional vision blue. The vision blue in this case is to get that capsule stain so that once we start placing the artificial iris we can see that anterorexis to make sure that this synthetic iris is in the capsular bag. Now this is the human optics artificial iris. It's got a black background made of silicone. The anterior surface is custom matched to the color of the unaffected iris in this patient's other eye. Now we're going to deepen the anterior chamber, push the IOL to the back of the capsular bag, try and roll this synthetic iris in kind of a taco fold or a, a a third, a third, and a third fold, and we're going to put this in the silver series inserter made by AMO. Now, this inserter is not made for this device, but it happens to work pretty well. Now, an important step is right here. We're making sure that leading edge of the artificial iris goes into the capsular bag. Then, of course, you want this to open up upside up or colored side up, not black side up. So there you can see that Vision Blue stain capsule really helps see that iris going into the capsular bag. Now we're gonna use a combination of micro forceps, uh, usually two of them to help tuck and pull this artificial iris to slowly dunk it into the capsular bag. You usually have to grab the pupillary border and then twist a little bit to shorten the cord length of the artificial iris. Then I'd like, so you see a, a pull and a twist tucking that iris into the capsular bag. And now the iris is in place and we can finally get our viscoelastic out of the eye. Our last step here is going to be to place a suture, and the case is essentially finished. So in this case, we used a couple pieces of technology, not only the artificial iris, but also the MyLoop device to try and save every endothelial cell in a relatively complex case. Thanks for watching.